Hey, this is PJ again, and I started all over almost. <laughs> the chopper now has, while well, I get around here, a new gas tank. So the right light, so I can show you. Oh man, the light is really bad. Yeah. So there is the new Alien Head peanut teardrop style gas tank. I had to freaking chop off the one motor mount. You see where it is down? Well, that doesn't help. The little hole right there next to the carburetor. And it doesn't need it. It's still got one, two, uh, three, four, five bolts holding it on, and they're all the huge bolts. This one right here, I think, the Japanese guy who made this bike was like, I need to find a place to mount the coils, so I'm gonna put this little mount right here and put a little mount on top of the motor and whatever. But, uh, you see, I made, like, took a little piece of pipe, I had to grind away just to fit it in line there, um, came with a cap. It was really, it was a great deal, it was only 166 bucks. And now, I also decided I went for a ride downtown and god damn it was so freaking bumpy and every bump what it made you do is that you would you would you would, the front would go back and the back would push you up so you'd jerk the throttle like this and that's terrible and so I did what I said I was gonna do and I put the uh, the mount right down in there and I sat on it and it feels almost like it should I think it just moves just a little bit and then when I step on it it goes goosh, 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 you know so that'll be a nice smooth ride but I left this thing here I had to take the freaking wheel off it's like back there where I think it would look cool if I took it back seven inches but I found this little cool piece of scrap metal in the road when I was walking around to the door dollar store I'm gonna take the seat and mount it on there like that and I got some springs that I'm gonna put there this is actually going to hold the seat, so I'm definitely going to sit still, but I'm going to put the springs on the bottom side of the seat so that when it's when, it, whoa, when it's up here like this, if the, that back wheel comes up too high, because the thing is that the pipes should stay in line with the seat, um, but the back wheel, you don't want it to come up and hit the pipes either, and you don't want the back wheel to come up and hit the seat, or the bumper to hit the seat. If I decide to take it all off later, maybe I will if it if it never hits the springs. But I can put two little holes here to... I got the two little holes here and I can put the springs there just to stop this from hit going up too high. And when it hits the seat, it'll stop and it'll push it back down. But the seat will be on here pretty good. This is freaking thick. This is like a quarter inch thick piece of leaf spring that I found some guy. Like, it just fell off in the road or whatever. So this is freaking sweet. And uh, yeah, it'll work out great. It'll fit right on top of there, and I got all kinds of room. These carbs are going to be showing the whole time, and that tank is much nicer looking. Definitely adds to the thin look of the bike, and the bike is like narrow as hell, but those, those boobies of, you know, the cylinders kind of stick out, and it looks super badass. I'm still going to later fix the, the wonky mouse on this. Oh. My riding issue with the front and the wheel bounce was more because I discovered that I had to lower this to lower the front end to put more weight on the front tire to hold it down to the road. But still, <coughs> you know, I cut, I shortened this to get it so that the angle wasn't, you know, outside of the wheel radius. So it's still a better front end anyway. I'm going to clean this up or maybe not I don't know it looks it looks great it's a fucking rat bike